Seattle Rocky also hurts himself. See, the good ball. That's a double up. And he took it right out off the double team. Routens misses the three. Harris with the follow. Spectacular. What an offensive rebound by Harris. And that was created initially off the double team. Anawaku had the presence to kick the ball back out. Harris now with 13 points and 13 rebounds. That was a pretty good numbers. Anawaku with a steal, fronting Aldrich that time. See, Anawaku's going to learn to be a little bit more active in the post. How to get free. Syracuse a little bit more patient now than they were late in the second half. Here comes Routes. He's a threat at any point. Nice pass. Anuaku left hand. Are you kidding me? I don't think he has any clue how good he really is. Somebody better tell him up in Syracuse. Grab him and sit him down and say, Son, Lorenzo, you could be absolutely special. A huge double-double for Anuaku. Sharon Collins with an air ball. Syracuse ball. He might be a little bit fatigued. I'll tell you right now, I'm watching his body language. He might be a little fatigued here in the second half. And one thing Jim Beheim can count on is that Johnny Flynn is not going to get fatigued after playing almost every single minute last year. If anything, he plays a little bit less, and he's got a little more gas in the tank right now. He averaged 39 minutes a game in the Big East. Timeout, Syracuse. Timeout, Syracuse. A three-point lead for the Orange with a minute 43 to go here in overtime. And some, some big, we've talked a lot about Anuaku with Flynn. Paul Harris, too, has made some monster plays for Syracuse in this game. Well, he's so athletic. We talk about that athleticism. His ability to rebound and get off the offensive glass. Really special. Harris and Anuaku, both with double-doubles for the second game in a row. Pretty big stuff. I'll tell you, phenomenal. I got the key to the game. The key to the game was Jim Bayham's decision to come out of the zone, yep. but he rotated to the man-to-man. -man. They had a couple of steals, and they got back in the game. Because you remember, Dan, they were down 11 when they made that decision, and that gave them a glyph. And I look at the athleticism of guys like, you look at Dieterdorf, you look at Harris, you look at certainly Flynn. I think those kids are made to attack on a defensive end rather than retreat and be stationary sitting in the 2-3. Well, let's take a look at some of the key plays of the night because Syracuse roared back from a 13-point second-half deficit. Johnny Flynn, of course, with the three to send the game to overtime. No shot in this game bigger than that. For the celebration right there. Well, this rebound and put that just phenomenal by Paul Harris. Well, he came from the weak side. Nobody blocked him out. Nobody put a body on him. He's a jumping jock. Oh, and how about Arinziano Aku? Oh, there it is. Utilizing the left hand on the inside. Little jump hook. This small lineup has helped Syracuse, too, and Harris playing at the power forward spot. You know, you've watched a lot of basketball. Now, maybe I'm overdoing it. I don't know. But I look at Anawaku, and I see something possibly special yeah. in an area where you don't see a lot of low-post guys. Do you agree? I agree. And, and he's just, he's going to be stronger than 99% of the guys he's playing against. And every time they go to him, good things happen. See, they're coming him up. That was open. Good things happened. That was created. They threw the ball in the post. They doubled. Yep. He brought the ball back out. And they're swinging over the Rapids. and got the open look. Now that Kansas was... on the ropes, really, for the first time tonight. That was just great execution. You're right. Kansas needs a basket big right here. The zone for Syracuse. Open Tyrell Reed. And oh, Aldrich shot. had it. And it hit the back of Side the of backboard. Bounce. It's Syracuse ball. They got the shot they want. Reed's yep. shot was right in and rolled out. Here comes Morningstar. In for out goes Aldrich. This will be a Bring special Morningstar. win for Jimmy Bayham this early this year. The fact that we're 11 down, they're playing here in Kansas City, to show the guts, the competitive drive, the comeback. Last year they would have lost this game. Devendorf. Syracuse taking That's over in overtime. Johnny Flynn took over right Even there. Though. He created the opportunity for Devin up. See, now it's a good decision. Go to the two point. Now they take some time off the clock. Try to attack the two three. See, the one thing about the zone, we'll make them utilize the clock. Under a minute to go. Syracuse by eight after the late three by Johnny Flynn. Forced overtime. Kansas led by as many as 13, but the Orange have outscored the Jayhawks 12 to four. Now Connor Tehan comes in. So you got five perimeter guys, five three point shooters on the floor yeah. for Kansas. Tehan's a real special shooter to three. Johnny Flynn's stock is going up and up and up. Tonight. 
Sheehan. Had a cold coming off that bench. Shot back quick. 